Hello and welcome back to The Shed. In today's video, we're going to be talking about storage in a small workshop. Hope you enjoy. So in this video, I'm going to be building on last week's video of how to store hand tools within toolboxes, and I'm not even going to touch on that in this video. I'm going to be expanding this to how, within a small workshop, I store my hand tools. Now, I know I haven't talked much about my workshop, but the area that I work in here is three meters this way and about 1.8 to the edge of the bench this way. And that is where I do nearly all of my work. When it comes to storage in a small workshop, the floor space becomes a premium and you try to do everything you can to maximize the storage but minimize the floor space. The first thing that I'm gonna be looking at is just storing the tools straight on the wall as that is obviously using very little floor space and it's maximizing the verticality of your walls. One of the best examples I have of storing flat on the wall is obviously my axes and cross cut saws here. As you can see, they're just held directly on this wall, laying on a few screws and that's just holding them flat to the wall. Now, I've only got a small space here and in doing that, it still allows me to get through quite easily. And that's obviously maximizing the storage space in this particular area where if I didn't store flat on the wall, I probably wouldn't be able to store anything. Also in this space, I've utilized further down and I can have a few things like these wooden screw clamps sticking out a little further as I have a little bit of room under the bench here. So that doesn't really obstruct me when I'm walking through. Then I have my shooting board and bench hook just sitting off here and obviously the rest of my uh, clamp rack here and a little bit of extra storage just tucked down in the corners. And this is making perfect use of this space and it's taking up very little floor space once again. Then I come across here to this area where I've got my Tormac and my sharpening station that sort of sits here, but I just wanted to talk about the flat storage that I have up around here that allows me to still utilize the bench space here. And that is all flat on the wall once again. And then the last area that I wanted to talk about flat storage on the wall is my wooden hand planes. The significance of these wooden hand planes being like this means with use of the storage cabinet that they're far enough back that the cabinet doors can actually open across in front of it. And that is once again, maximizing the ability to store here with the use of the cabinet next to this flat storage, allowing me to store across in front of it. Next, I move on to still storing on the wall and maybe on the ground or really close to the wall, making use of storage racks like the one I have here for the hand saws that obviously holds all my hand saws nice and close to the wall, but up in the air in this case to allow storage underneath. Then I have a full tool cabinet obviously that's in the backdrop of all my videos for storing the majority of my tools, including my hand planes, uh, auger bits. There's a lot of storage within here. There's double storage in the doors. The doors open up and cross in front of other storage that's flat on the walls. And this just in my mind, really maximizes the storage space. It allows you to store things on top. It, it allows you to store a lot of tools within the cabinet, but then also close them up and protect them and also get them out of the way so you can access other tools that are behind. I think this style of cabinet is very important in a small workshop as it's still relatively close to the wall, taking up very small footprint. And in this case, it does allow storage underneath again. And that's where we move on to next. The importance of this cabinet is again that it's flat against the wall and taking up very little floor space. In the design of this, I made it with sliding doors to make it easy to access so it's not intrusive and doesn't actually impinge into your walking space and make it difficult to open full doors. And as it's quite a large, long cabinet, if I had had doors, they would have opened up and probably smacked into the workbench. As you can see, in here I have all sorts of storage. I have stuff that's waiting to be restored. I have pieces from other bits of furniture, some hand saws, um, hand planes, uh, levels, including my restored transitional plane. On the other side of this cabinet, this is where I have all my finishes, glues, and all that sort of stuff. Next, I'm gonna move on to bench space. Now, obviously, in any woodworking shop, whether that is hand tool woodworking shop or a power tool woodworking shop, you've gotta have at least some bench space to get work done. In my small workshop, I obviously have this little piece of bench here and the main workbench. Now, obviously, over here, this houses a lot of hammers and other general household equipment. Now, obviously, over here, I have all my sharpening stuff that lives here, and whether I pull that to the bench to use it or use it set up here, and obviously I have my Tormac sharpener and its accessories up in the back here, plus some extra bits of household storage. I think this makes pretty good use of this small bench space. However, 
like all bench spaces and all workshops, it does tend to clutter quite a bit of junk. When it comes to bench space, it is important to have storage under that bench space. This is a storage unit that I've kind of been toying with and it used these glued up panels that I used on the Dovetail Toolbox. I've just been working with this design. So it's got a series of drawers in the middle which stores all sorts of things, carving gouges, I have measuring cuff, I have my leather working equipment, uh, dowels, uh, pencils, pens, rulers, all that sort of thing. That was the idea. This main storage here was for a lot of that smaller stuff that has no other home. Then over here I have this open up space here and this has got a lot of screws, nails, drill kits and a lot of that sort of stuff here. Then we move in over here behind me. Now in here I had limited space for this cabinet so I designed it with a central hinge so it opens and this is where again I have socket sets and a lot of household storage. Now we'll come in and we'll look at the storage under my workbench. As you can see here I've got the dovetail tool chest, I have the beginner tool chest on the other side, sandpaper, evaporas, my drill, buckets for rubbish and other storage, then a whole bunch of other stuff that's just sort of junked here which can be removed easily to access the toolboxes. And obviously if you watched the last video, and I recommend you do and I'll leave a link below, uh, check out the storage of hand tools within toolboxes because that is a very good way to store a lot of hand tools in very small space and get it up out of the way under a workbench or something in a small workshop to allow you to maintain your floor space and uh, keep your tools tidy, neat, dust free and prevent rust. Now moving on to shelving. Obviously I've got the shelving unit in here. It's maximizing the full verticality of this space. It goes back to the wall. It's about the same width as the storage bench at the back with my sharpening stuff. Um, so I'm not really losing any space and it allows me to use this area along here and still have storage keeping out of the way of the use and the thoroughfare within this workshop. And obviously I have my wood storage here in this particular shelving unit. And you could use a shelving unit like this to store a number of things, even things that you've got within cabinets. While we're on the subjects of shelving, I wanted to just bring you up here so you can see the shelf that was here. This was a reclaimed shelf. It's actually the side of a bed that I got off a Verge collection and it worked perfectly up here as a shelf. I don't have too much height in this workshop, so it's only about two meters up to the top of this, but I've made use where I can to have a shelf up here. It's up out of the way behind the back of the tool cabinet and obviously I can use the top of the tool cabinet as a shelf as well. And this just allows me to store a few smaller things that I don't want packed away. I use them quite a bit, so I want to access them quickly and easily. Down here, I've got a lot of small timber storage. I've got drawers with the timber stored in it. And that was just the easiest way I found to store a lot of smaller stuff. And then over in here behind me, I've got some smaller sheet goods. And now I'm moving over into a part of the workshop that you don't see much in my videos because, well, quite frankly, it, it doesn't look good on camera. It's dark got a lot of stuff going on and this is just the majority of the general household storage, garden maintenance storage and all that sort of thing, including a bunch of tools up the back here and the door is just over here next to this light here and so this space is left open to allow quick and easy access into this area. I have my lathe here, now this is on a movable cart to make it easy to access in behind it. It's on wheels and it has some storage under the bottom of it which is just some stuff that needs to be restored. And then one of my favorite tools, my hand crank metalworking drill press. It does work pretty well in the absence of an electric drill press and I wouldn't be without it. I absolutely love it. Now, obviously the whole idea and what I've been talking about in this video is that floor space is a premium and you wanna maximize your storage while not taking up as much floor space. And obviously, the workbench is gonna probably take out one of the biggest areas within your workspace. Now, I might have had this workbench up against the wall if I wasn't filming YouTube videos, but in this workshop, I believe that where I've got it situated actually works very well. And it, obviously you've seen me in some videos 
cutting sheet goods and stuff off the back end of this workbench and if it was up against a wall I couldn't do that so it's kind of a double-edged sword yes it's taking up a lot of space but this is where I do the majority of my work it makes it easier for me to film the videos for you and my lighting is right above in this area and it's the easiest spot to get the lighting up high enough to not be in the way while filming and whatnot so it works quite well having the workbench in the middle of this particular workshop or shed in my case. So I hope you like this video and I know it kind of turned it into a bit of an impromptu workshop tour which I know some of you wanted to see and I, I hope that it just gives you a good idea as the way I store tools in a very small confined space which might allow you to maximize the space in your workshop or your shed. Even if you do have power tools some of these ideas might be of use to you. So if you like this video, please consider checking me out on Patreon to allow me to keep making these great videos for you. And check out these great videos on the screen here for you right now to help you with your woodworking journey. Bye for now.